What's up mga kawams and mga kapops and welcome once again to my channel and today we will going to have the what we called attendance management system wherein we can monitor the attendance of our students per section if they are present, absent, excused, or late sa ating virtual classroom. So iyon yung gagawin natin ngayon. And if you want to learn and know how to do this, on your Google Forms, ipagpatuloy lang ang panonood ng video na to. Let's begin. So just open your browser like Google Chrome browser and you just type forms.google.com or just simply uh, go to your gallery and just uh, click the form icon and then just click the blank form that we have yung plus sign na yan, and then we will be directed on a blank or untitled form so let's just change the title to for example this one is attendance management system so we will going to copy lang this one and we will type it here or it will automatically paste it here once you change this file name of the form and the title of your form so you can add description here like for example let's just put this will serve as the attendance form of class abc school year 2020 2021 so that is just an example so it's up to you what kind of description you're going to put on your description of course <laughs> on our default question let us just change multiple choice type of question to multiple multiple <laughs> <laughs> multiple grid question lotang si sir and then let's just type here uh, like for example class abc attendance and then on this rows you will going to write or put down the different names of your students so like for example uh, you will going to write it or start the surname first followed by the first name and middle initial alphabetically since meron naman tayong master list known as an advisor or subject teacher pwede nang nating i-copy paste dito but this time for the sake of example itatype ko yung isa-isa tiglima lang gagawin ko limang boys limang girls this one pala gawin na then halimbawa attendance for boys open close parenthesis boys Ayan, and then, copyin ko siya, duplicate ko lang. And this one naman is for girls, for example. Yan, para hiwalay din. Kung gusto natin, pero pwede din naman natin gawin sa isang multiple grid, lahat na nandoon doon. Pero sa akin, sa, sa, sa case ko, gusto ko magkahiwalay sila. Halimbawa, this one, Abad, um, Jericho, Abad, Jericho, A. Then this one, Abakan, Matthew, C. Then pangatlo is Mendoza, Christian, B. Then for the fourth one, Santos, Ferdinand, M. And the last one, lima lang gawin muna natin. We have Zantua, um, Jacob, and And then, for the columns, we have halimbawa dito, present, yung lalagay nating remarks, absent, late, excuse. Kung meron pa kayong gustong idagdag, it's up to you. Delete ko lang pala muna to para hindi na ako gumawa mamaya nito. So, duplicate na natin siya since meron na naman siyang laman. So, duplicate. Ayan. Tsaka ako na lang siya papalitan. Girls naman to. And then, this one naman, lagay natin Andres. Halimbawa, Andres Maria. Maria C. Evasco. Halimbawa, Evasco. Felisa. Felisa K. Francisco. Katarina. Yeah. Legaspi. Nicole. G. Mana. Lily. Rodora. L. So, meron na tayong lima. So, we have now the attendance. Gawin so, natin required siya para hindi siya malampasan at lahat ay ma-fill upan. And then, the next Next question that we will going to have here is, add lang tayo ulit ng next question, is the date. Let's click the date. And then, lagay natin dito is class ABC attendance date. Halimbawa lang naman, attendance date. And then, automatic ito na yan. Required din natin to. Pag preview natin siya, ganito magiging itsura niya. Yan, this one. So, we have the date. Ang magiging question dyan, every time ba na mag attendance tayo every day, if we fill up natin to, a day are more than, halimbawa, at lalo na tayo sa atin sa, pub sa public school, we are 50, or we do have 50 students or 45 students and above. So, kailangan ba natin isa-isahin yun sa dami? And we have 5 sections or more na hawak 
So, hindi. So, meron tayong paraan or way para ma-lessen natin yung trabaho natin sa pag-check ng attendance. And how to do that? On this more icon, yung tatlong dot on the upper right, just click that. May makikita kayo dyang option na get pre-filled link. Okay, get pre-filled link. We're in. Pag-clinic natin yan, you will be directed to the pre-filled link. Ito yun. That is the pre-filled link. We're in. Pwede na natin siyang i-fill up. So, magkakaroon na kagad siya ng default answer. And then, kapag pinilapan natin siya to a particular day or date of the attendance, i-edit na lang natin halimbawa kung sino yung absent, yung later excuse. But by default, ang lahat ng student natin are all present. So, kiklik lang natin lahat ng present dito. Yan, present, 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 halimbawa. And then, sa date din natin gagalawin yan kasi pre-filled to eh. So, it, it should be editable. May default na tayong answer or pre-filled na answer natin doon sa responses natin per students natin that they are already present and we will change that kung sila nga ay uh, absent, late, or excuse sa klase. And then, just click get link. Once we click get link, automatic, we have a copy na of the link at pwede na natin silang or pwede na natin siyang isend sa kung sino man or sa atin mismo. For example, meron tayong secretary or students natin na medyo maganda naman ng internet or medyo nakakaangat sa buhay especially sa public, mahirap talagang maghanap ng ganun and iniintindi naman natin. So pwede natin siyang maging katawang to check the attendance. So by giving the link to him or to her. And also, para mas mapaikli natin siya, if may gusto na rin akong pakita sa inyo, just lagi kong ginagamit which is the bit.ly or bit.ly.com click ko lang just click create and then paste ko lang yung url dito ay sorry hindi ko na copy ayan copy link ayun copy link ayan create ayan and paste it ayan haba diba ayan so yung sa napakahabang link meron na kagad tayong mixing title ay sorry ito yun hindi natin tuloy na lagyan edit natin. Ayan. Meron na kagad tayong maigse. Bit.ly slash 2YJ6EXI. Imbis na napakahabang link. And pwede natin siyang lagyan ng title. Halimbawa. And uh, Management System. Tapos lagyan natin open close parenthesis. Class ABC. Ayan. So, pasensya na sa ingay sa tahol ng bibitayin ni namin. And nang may meeting sila misis doon sa, sa, sa sala. So, pwede natin siyang i-copy or i-save. So, pwede natin click save. And pwede na rin natin siyang i-share. So, pwede ko na rin siyang i-copy. Ayan, nakapi ko na siya. And pwede ko na siyang i-send sa aking secretary or sa kung sino man. Or pwede sa akin na lang din mismo. Ito na lang din ang gagamitin ko. Okay? Or like for example, I want to share it with someone. Paste ko lang. Ctrl V. And click send. Ayan. Click send. Para makita rin yung link. Ayan. So, yun yung link. No? Automatic, madadirect na siya sa Google Forms doon sa ginawa nating pre-filled na attendance. Gawin natin. Halimbawa, ito na lang. Click na lang natin to. Pag-click natin yung link na yan, or this one, kahit ito man, no? Alin din dyan sa mga yan. Madadirect tayo doon sa link ng attendance form, which is pre-filled form. Ayun. So, automatic, Ayan, dalawa rin ha. Dalawa na load natin kasi dalawang clinic natin link. Well, automatic, nandiyan na. May pre-filled na siya. Pwede nating palitan. Like, for example, si Abakan ay absent. Si uh, Santos ay late. Si Andres Maria ay excuse dahil sumali sa, sa buwan ng wika OPM singing contest. Absent si Francisco Katarina dahil may sakit. No? Nag-message ang kanyang nanay. And then si Legaspi, late sa pagpasok sa virtual classroom. And then, just click this one, yung calendar icon, pwede nyo nang malagay yung date today. Halimbawa, just click today automatic, yun na ang magpa-punch in dun sa attendance. And just click submit. So, automatic, meron na yun. So, tignan natin kung na-record nga. Ayun, meron tayong response. Ayan. Pag-clinic natin yung response tab, makikita natin kung sino yung mga late, absent sa summary. Okay. Ito yung sa questions makikita natin. And, by clicking this one, create a spreadsheet automatic, magkikreate siya ng copy ng attendance natin sa spreadsheet. So, madali na tayong magkakaroon ng kopya. So, automatic kapag may nag-type ulit ng another response to another day, automatic meron pa ulit na update sa attendance na to. Halimbawa, ito. Yan. For today, may time stamp na rin siya, pati yung oras, no? And then, ito kung sino yung present, absent, present, late. Ayan o, oh. si Jericho. Ayan. Si Abad. Matthew. No. 
So, nandun doon na lahat ng information. At pwede pa rin mag-fill up siya everyday at makikita natin yung updated responses doon sa ating attendance sa ating mga students. And that's it mga kamoms and mga kapaps and hopefully meron kayong natutunan na naman sa ating panibagong video which is creating attendance management system wherein pwede nating ma-monitor ang attendance ng ating mga mag-aaral sa bawat sections or sa bawat klase. If you enjoy watching this video, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to click the notification bell for you to have more videos or upcoming videos that I will going to upload. Mga kamamsin, mga kapaps, hanggang sa susunod na tutorial natin. Bye-bye!